Friends, hello. Molly, come say hi. Hello. Friends, hello. Welcome back to another video. Today I just wanted to do like a little spend the day with me. It's a Monday. I'm feeling optimistic. Every Monday I'm like this. I'm like, oh, we're going to have the best Monday. We do normally. Um, but then it goes downhill from there. Anyhow, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I make silly little videos and... Oh, wait, I didn't even introduce myself. If you're new to my channel, hi. I'm Marge and I make silly little videos and vlogs about my silly little life. So today we're just going to spend the day together and see what we get up to. Which won't be too much because literally... Oh my god, my nose is running. As I was saying, it won't be too much because um, your girl has to go work. And um, yeah, well, that's it. We're just going to get into the clips of me getting ready this morning. Oh, that feels good. Look, my skin is absolutely pooping itself right now. Like, if I bring you closer, I'm just breaking out in all the places. And that eyebrow pimple, the little full one, it exploded yesterday. Such fun. <laughs> and, yeah, because of all of this, I've actually decided not to put on any face makeup today. I've just drawn my eyebrows. And again, they're uneven. And I have put some mascara on. And that's it okay this is my outfit of the day i'm wearing jeans at home who am i i've actually gotten ready but this has been like the standard look for the past couple of days and this i mean you've seen this jumper probably on all of my videos but it's just like really comfortable um not furry but like uh what is it it's not even wool i don't know this jumper I don't know the material of this, but it's an old jumper and I kind of use it to layer up to feel a bit warm. For some reason, I'm not feeling warm. I don't know whether I have a cold, which would not be ideal, or it is simply cold. I even have my little Christmas woolly socks on. Can you see that? For my hair, it's getting greasy again. I don't know why this hair gets so greasy so quickly. I have no idea how people manage their no hair wash for like a week because... You do that to me, you can fry all sorts of things with the grease of my hair. Sorry, that is a disgusting image to paint, but hey ho. Recently I've been seeing the Kerastash, 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 you know the hair product, the really good hair brand, that one. I've been seeing their Genesis hair serum on my mobile device, it's because my phone knows. I'm suffering from hair loss because I keep telling you guys um yes I've been seeing that on my um phone the Genesis hair serum and apparently it's meant to be this like non-greasy uh serum that you apply on towel dried or dry hair and it's meant to prevent or stop your hair from falling as much and having looked into it and having looked and read into the reviews it has some really good reviews i'm hoping to get that product at some point and test it out so over the next couple of weeks that is my aim i really want that product just because this i don't want this thinning out i like having thicker hair and this feels like it's already thinned out but I know that it could be thicker. We could be having luscious hot girl summer. But my hair is not playing ball. So hopefully that serum will help. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. Would you like anything? Yeah, I'll have a tea. It's time for a tea break. It's lunch time. We are going to take the for our children or oh, out for a walk. Why is there a paintbrush up here? Oh, I was um, dusting. Oh, fair. <laughs> you see all of this? It's yeah. No, not dusting. Very nice. Oh, um, being you have your harness back, you can put that on. Oh, where's his harness? Oh, yeah. up. We are taking the dogs out for a walk and then we're gonna come back and make some lunch and chill out before we have to get back to work. My mum's operation is at two o'clock, so that's quickly approaching. Um, Hopefully it will be good and quick and easy and painless. Phil was gonna go no, out. I've got to go and put my shoes on now. <laughs> he was she gonna was go out. He was telling me to go out with my crocs on, honestly. <laughs> no. 
over. <laughs> That's a lie. I literally saw him wearing his Crocs. It's raining. It, you know, to the point where you can see the rain fall. So it's obviously raining quite a bit. And he's like, no, nope, I'm going to go out with my Crocs on. <laughs> no, I'm going to do it on principle now. Did not say those words. You wouldn't even know it's raining. He says, no, it's definitely but raining. What are you talking about? I do not like this little attitude of yours, young chap. 100% raining. You can feel it. Coco, Molly, stop it. Okay. They're very badly behaved today. I must share this frustration. So my mum's gone in to surgery and she, uh, not surgery, to the hospital and like they're prepping her. Hey, Molly, stop it. They're prepping her for surgery. The doctor asks while she's there, not beforehand. Oh, by the way, do you want us to remove your ovaries? So she's just like, wait, what? This information has just been thrown at me. I have like hours to decide. They didn't sort of brief her beforehand. And I feel for her because it's like, yes, that is a lot of information to be thrown at you on the day of your surgery to decide. They had so many like pre-op calls and consultations, but they didn't mention this. I find that really strange. Oh yeah, Phil, how's the rain? It's definitely raining. I told you. Give me Paul. 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 This dog does not do anything except what he wants. He is sassy and he has a tiny human eyes. We've walked the dogs and time to decide on lunch. Oh, Phil is modeling the uh, medium noodles. Um, are they in date, babe? In 2025, it says. Okay, yeah, we can have that. We can boil that and then we can have it with the beef stir fry I made yesterday. We've got some little packets as well left over. We can put a little bit of like shin or something in it, just to beef it up. Beef it up, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, the beef noodles, like the beef stir fry that I made. Yeah. Those can be used as well. Nosy lot. He's done for the day. We are going to take the dogs for a walk. But first, I'm going to put the glasses back in the kitchen and then we're going to head off. I wonder if Phil is going to wear Crocs again. Like the one that's wearing Crocs right now. Yeah, but I'm not going for a walk right now with my Crocs, am I? Am I, Philip? Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? <laughs> I'm wearing these. Very nice. If anyone can find me these, by the way. I would be, be eternally grateful because I've been looking for ages for a new pair of these. That, those so exact ones, please. Flipping comfy. And these have been falling apart for like four years. <laughs> we do need to get you a new pair of those. What? what did he, do? he just jumped out of his own skin for no apparent reason. <clears throat> We've just come back from the, the walk. Yeah, we've just come back and honestly, it's such a miserable day outside. It's been raining all day and it doesn't help because like my mum's gone into the op um, an hour and a bit ago now and I'm really starting to worry now. <laughs> uh, I've just rang the hospital and they said mum still hasn't come out to, I guess, like where she'll rest and recover um but they will ring me back so they suspect she's still in surgery or if she's just come out they need to leave her in like one area before they take her to the next where then we can visit her so for now i'm gonna start on dinner and while that's sort of cooking i'm going to try and um to try and do a little bit of a workout <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do a, uh, a run or anything super heart pumping today. Instead, I'm going to do yoga. I feel that I probably need it just because I've been a little bit stressed lately. And sometimes a workout is yoga. One, two, three, over. Oh, I think he's looking at the dog. And then we have those. Repel the skin up. Turn your knee 
I've just finished yoga with Adrian. I can see why people really like her. Um, her voice was really soothing. She, it felt like she was in the room, like she was a friend with you. Uh, I had done like the bedtime stretches uh, before, but like maybe I just didn't focus too much. But yeah, she was really lovely. And then uh, my brain just switched off like at various bits of stretching my hips and things. I feel like my brain, I'm the type of person that always thinks over things. So my brain's always just like going off and off, which is really bad because obviously then it, it doesn't give us time to rest and take a break from that. I have too many 2am thoughts. I'm sure a lot of people do as well. So yeah, even though this wasn't like this um, sweating, active workout, I do have to acknowledge the fact that, you know, I took the time to move my body today. Normally I would have been very harsh on myself saying like, oh, it isn't a workout because I didn't sweat and I, my heart wasn't pumping. But you know what? I got up I moved my body, I've moved my hips, I've stretched, I've moved my legs and that in itself is something that I can be happy with. I didn't just sit on the sofa and eat. Some days we do need that. Don't ask me what my hair is doing. Now I'm gonna enjoy some cuddles and then get on with, get on with the day. Um, I've just heard that my mum is back in recovering room so I can visit her and so I just need to quickly get changed because I have like less than 40 minutes to go get some things from the shops and then go and see her as well go how are you feeling? good good <laughs> and I've just um, been to see my mum uh, I'm glad to see she's doing well it was really good to see her to be honest because I feel a bit relieved uh, I am feeling a little tired, so looking forward to getting home, maybe having some pudding, doing a little walk. Time to head home now. I've just got home, but we're going to set off again. Hello! <laughs> Molly! Oh gosh! Hello. Right, hello! Oh! Bean peas! I'm getting attacked. We've just made it from the walk and now it's time for pudding. We have now finished pudding. I will now clear up the kitchen from all the cooking stuff. And then um, once I'm done, I'm gonna get ready to get ready for bed. I don't know why I'm so thirsty. I've tidied up downstairs and now I'm so ready for bed, but I do need to go quickly shower and get ready for bed. I literally do not have any face makeup on today, aside from like my eyebrows and my lashes. But my skin feels so grubby. My mahusive pimple popped earlier as well. Oh, Honestly, I've been breaking out so bad in the past few months. What I've recognised is... um in my cycle it's not so much before that i break out it's now after so i don't know whether i'm facing some hormonal changes or what i find it a little strange that like my breakouts are lasting longer and at different stages oh do you know what i was really intending to do a little hair mask today as well because i thought after work after the workout and then sort of after the meal, I would do a hair mask. But because I went over to see my mum, I didn't think I would actually stay for that long. But I ended up staying for a few hours. Um, I don't know, I just did not feel like I wanted to leave. I probably would have stayed all night if I could. Um, but no, I did get kicked out <laughs> I don't know, I just could not bring myself to leave just seeing my mum in hospital. I think I wanted to get a hair mask, mask done today and something else, something that has slipped my mind now. <sighs> Mustn't be that important, must it? 
I do remember what I wanted to do. Sorry, very forceful pointing there. I wanted to do my hair mask and while I was doing that and like my hair was marinating, I wanted to wax my legs because then I thought like, oh, then it's like a, everything, really everything shower with the hair mask and the waxing. So I didn't get around to those today. Tomorrow I will be going to see my mum again. So I'll try and fit that around. Fingers crossed I will get to it this week. Just because, not last week, last couple of weeks ago, I uh, got around to my waxing routine. And I... <laughs> this is too much information. Oh, I can't believe I'm sharing this with you. I'd let my <laughs> legs get like Chewbacca. And now I have overshared. Whoever's watching this, we are now best friends. You are in my inner circle. I'm sorry. If I share this kind of information with you, that's it. You are in my inner circle. <laughs> Anyhow, so hopefully I will get to my waxing kit this week. So we don't get to that same state of Marge being a Chewbacca. I am deliriously tired now. Honestly, very, very tired. I really should quickly get to shower. But I'm enjoying this. Um, One thing I did want to share before we leave it for today is... Last night, I was actually, not not even last night, okay, it's going to sound so weird. So, I've been listening to the 5am club. Interesting book so far, I don't know how to feel about it. So, over the past couple of weeks, actually, I have been feeling so up and down. And, um, just like, I haven't achieved certain goals, so I've been feeling down about that. And I'm pretty sure, actually, anyone coming on to their 30s so like late 20s I'm officially in my late 20s now so anyone coming up to their 30s will probably go through these stages and to be honest I honestly think that it doesn't even have to be anyone in this specific age group it's anyone at any point in their lives if you set yourself some goals or like you have some goals in your mind that you want to achieve and you're you're on that trajectory but perhaps not quite there yet you may be feeling a similar way but yeah, I've been feeling so up and down recently about goals and setting goals and I have ended up exactly where I wanted to be, but like where exactly 21 year old Marge wanted to be at 27 now, but now 27 year old Marge has very different sort of drives and ambitions and goals. And so now here I am. I'm not feeling quite like I'm there yet and maybe I will get to it. I really hope I do get to it in the next couple of years, but that's why I've been so up and down and bump surgery coming on and just various bits like honestly oh talking about it too much will get me verbal vomiting at you um which we don't need because I'm already doing that <laughs> so you don't need more of it and yeah so I've just been feeling like so up and down and kind of also lost like I know the goals that I want but also somehow I'm very lost and uh, yeah I have <laughs> I have these up and down periods of it but last night I and with mum's so mum's operation coming on I think I've been feeling like anxious and then I was listening to the audiobook of the 5am club and this morning slash last night I I didn't wake up like I, I just something and it wasn't even even Molly like something woke me up and I, it wasn't even like oh what time is it kind of waking up it was just I am awake now it was that kind of sensation it was strange I, I don't think I've ever had that kind of feeling to just like wake up and be super alert at that time so I grabbed my phone thinking, oh, is it like 6, 6.30? I need to get up and get going with Molly. I grab my phone, look at it, and it's 4, 4, 4, so 4, 44 in the morning. And something came over me. Normally when I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm quite scared. So seeing that number and just, just waking up, and this is going to sound so cheesy, but it just felt like everything was going to be okay honestly it just felt like these things you're worrying about these things that you are scared <laughs> to face and scared to of not achieving your goals it just felt at that moment this morning 
that everything was going to be okay. And I don't know why I'm getting all emotional sharing this with you, but I think I'm just tired now. Sometimes I feel like I'm chasing my tail, sometimes I feel like I'm not good enough for the world and that's that's the little voice in your head that just goes oh you're not good enough and sometimes you have those great days where you are feeling so confident and you're able to pick yourself up but this morning I just felt certain that everything was going to be okay and that in these moments of like the ups and downs that I just have to ride the waves and try not to let the voices get too big and not to let them drag me down sorry got emotional what a little bummer <laughs> i know i got emotional but i guess like in a weirdly positive way like i said to you the last time i got emotional we're gonna have a lot a lot of these all right i think it's time for me to get ready for bed and get some sleep i'm deliriously tired now but I know that everything will be okay. Thank you again with the pointing, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to keep my pause to myself. If you've watched my little vlog, my video, any of my videos, I really appreciate it, thank you. If you have enjoyed my vlog and want to join my little life journey, my very ordinary vlogging journey, then uh, feel free to subscribe and hit that like button, you know, all the jazzy buttons on youtube um hit those and i will see you in the next video again thank you for watching bye